of Escapers. I'm Caroline Allison and we are on the road between Cabarete headed to Rio San Juan which is one of our stops on the way to Samana, Samana. and I um, just wanted to share with you the beautiful coastline that we're able to see. We're um, traveling along the north coast of the Dominican Republic and you can see all of this virgin area, untouched area, that is just raw land right now and beautiful, beautiful shoreline. And I wanted to just share a couple things about what's going on in the real estate market here in the Dominican, what we've learned. Um, what we've learned is that the Dominican Republic is a cash-based economy, meaning that when people buy real estate here, they pay cash. And so as a result of that, uh, with the lack of mortgages or the development of the mortgage market, the Dominican Republic had, well, the run-up that the rest of the world experienced. However, it didn't run up quite as much as other areas that um, were mortgage-backed areas. And so basically what we've learned is that um, you're able to actually buy a one-bedroom condo beachfront, um, fairly close to Cabarete, for instance, for around 150,000 US. And if you're able to find a, a distressed property owner, for instance, and put in the word into some of the local realty companies here, um, they will be on the lookout for owners who want to offload their properties rapidly. And in those cases, you're looking to pay maybe 30% less, um, and you can still get some good deals. A uh, realtor uh, from Remax shared with me recently a um, uh, one bedroom oceanfront condo that uh, sold for $110,000. And there are really some incredible buys. Um, I will say that because the Dominican Republic um, is a cash based economy, it's still ap appreciating. And even in, you know, while the rest of the global economy is in a recession, and it's, it's actually, a lot of that is attributed to Russians, the influx of Russians that have come here because they don't need a visa. And all of the Caribbean, uh, Dominican Republic's the one place they don't need visa, visas. And we met a Russian developer yesterday evening who had said that this is the most popular destination for Russians to come to. And they come down and uh, just put cash on everything. They like a piece of land, they buy it. And so um, I will say that the other thing I've heard pretty consistently is that the Dominican Republic is the cheapest place in all of the Caribbean to buy property. So. We've certainly learned a lot while we're here. Uh, there's bargains to be had, and we're still shopping around to find those bargains. So, thanks for tuning in, and ciao for now.